at center, Anthony Davis. At power forward. Now introducing. And it's the Suns to start out. And now the Washington Wizards starters. They've got Derek Favors. He's out there with Davis. Bradley Beal's out there with Patrick Williams. Here's Ostertag. Tries again. And too long on the shot. And here is Williams. Pass to Beal. From behind the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Well, some guys over the course of their career just keep developing, and Bradley Beal came in as a sweet shooter, and he continues to do it. Gets the three ball to go. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Here's Kidd. And the Wizards with another three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Murray passes to Davis. Fires the three. Another three for Phoenix. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Beal outside. 4-3. He can't get it to go. Now the Suns take it the other way. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. And they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Deal with it. Checked by Murray. Here's Kidd. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Washington. Jason Kidd. Three shots. The first free throw is good. And he sinks the second. And he nails the third. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Murray passes to Davis. Davis missing again. Washington has gone two for three from outside the arc. High arcing shot. The rebound by Murray. For Phoenix, they've gone three of six from the floor. Over to the wing. Here's Reed. No good with the triple. The Wizards have gone just two for four from the floor. Pass to Beal. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. And he gets it to go. Now Bradley Beal just takes it right into the defender's chest. Beautifully done. Murray from outside. They get it again. From the arc. Rebound, Anthony Davis. The Wizards with a lead. Let's go with a three. And he buries his first look. Oh, you love the confidence. I mean, no hesitation whatsoever from Davis off the catch. Really, really nice. Here's Reed. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Davis, the pass to Beal. Here's Kidd. Back to Favors. Phoenix grabs the miss. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They just couldn't get into a rhythm offensively. They didn't shoot it well and also didn't get the best of looks. I think even when you get quality looks, there was an inability to stay consistent. It is hard to win on a cold shooting night in today's NBA. The scoring is just too good. You have to watch Murray closely at the perimeter. He won't hesitate to flex his range. Beal, the pass to Davis. And the shot goes down. 
Davis has got five now. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Beal. Five points in the game. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Hooker can't get it to go. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Line for the Wizards, Anthony Davis, shooting one. That free throw, good from Davis. Here are the Wizards now with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Beal outside. Davis with a screen on Booker. Back to Davis. Williams from long range. Davis with a rebound. The Suns trailing. Here's Ostertag. And he banks in the layup. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Outside, Williams. And there's the screen. Fires for three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. Here's Ostertag. Check by Davis. Great open look there. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Pass to Davis. Davis with a screen on Booker. Beal the pass to Davis. That one falls. He's coming off Beal's feed. Davis has got eight. You can see the level of attention Bradley Beal draws. This guy is so heady finding the open teammate. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Washington has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Beal outside. That shot missing. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Outside Davis. Sinks it from distance. He's got nine. The combo guard, Murray. Capable of hurting you with his scoring as well as with his passing. Davis with a screen on Murray. Davis from long range. Phoenix grabs the miss. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Outside for Davis. Beyond the arc. That one doesn't drop. The Wizards have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Pass to Beal. And here is Williams. Clutches it home. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Davis from long range. Making his mark again. He's shooting four for nine in this one. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Suns making a change here. Levine's checked in. And a change for the Wizards. Conley's checked in. Williams passes to Davis. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Washington? Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Well, also, guys, what a start from beyond the arc. A huge part of their game today. That's going to help their spacing. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And that's good as he hits both shots. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Here's Beal, the kick out to Conley. That one falls, coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got his fourth assist in this one. 
fast Worcester tag. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Pounding in his side early and often, setting a physical tone. Knocked loose. Favors with a screen on Murray. Beal outside. Davis a screen. Beal the pass to Davis. The layup off target. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Outside Davis. Drops in the three. Davis has got 15 points. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Favors with a screen on Murray. Here's Conley. The shot comes out. Now the Suns take it the other way. Levine passes to Davis. Out left to the wing. Washington with a rebound. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Favors misses. And the idea was good, but the execution severely lacking. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Suns ahead. They lead by one. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Second quarter, fairly close game so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Phoenix. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good Sun to foul. great. We've got Murray. He's out there with Zach Levine. And it's Reed in at the four. That's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Outside Conley. Over Murray. The shot by Conley. No good. The Suns leading. Here's Ostertag. Out to Fox. From deep three-point range. Kept alive. Second chance shot. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. Devin Booker. He's checked in for the Suns. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Conley. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Kidd. They set the pick. And check out the NBA's top three-point shooters over the course of the past month. First free throw is good. Jason Kidd. Two shots. Second free throw, no good. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Fox finds Levine. Sinks the tray. Levine's got his first three points of the game. Well, Zach Levine, with or without the basketball, such a dangerous score. You can see how prepared he is off the catch. Stolen. Fox outside. Another three for Phoenix. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Favors with a screen on Levine. Pass to Williams. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Three point field goal. Williams has got eight points. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. Who wasted no time on that one. And the Suns lead by nine. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. The floater rejected. And they'll get another chance. Conley against Fox. Conley passes to Favors. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And we have to take another look at that block. 
Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Outside Conley, just three to shoot. Here's Kidd. The putback. It's good on the putback. He's got 13. The long arms of Davis. Outstanding work using them to track down second chance points. Levine finds Booker. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And we're going to have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. The Wizards have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. To the middle. And Davis with the basket on the assist by Conley. And now just a five-point Phoenix lead. Phoenix has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Fox for three. The rebound by Favors. Washington has gone six of nine from three-point range. Conley on the attack. favors. Here's Davis. Blocked! Conley against Levine. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Nails it from three. Levine's got nine. Twelve straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Here's Conley. Soft touch off the glass. Well, Mike Conley has mastered pick and roll play and does such a good job making the right decisions. Levine passes to Booker. No good on the three. The Wizards have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Davis. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. From outside, off the mark. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Out of bounds, Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. Dumboyas checked in for Reed. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Drew Holiday's checked in for Conley. Has to kid. Takes the three. The Wizards with another miss. Phoenix has gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Ostertag, and he dunks it down. <laughs> the big guy attacking the rim. The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. The Wizards have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Back to Davis. And Davis slams it home. Yeah, the muscle Davis has added aids him on these tough finishes, showing off that big boy strength. The Suns have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Down low. Stolen by Davis. And a fast break now for the Wizards. Ball's going up to court. They get the rebound. Holiday passes to Davis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the more Davis has added muscle during his career, it really has helped him on the offensive end. It forces defenses to foul him. And he's good on the second. And Phoenix shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Here's Levine. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Levine's got 11 points in the quarter. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Holiday from long range. The Suns clear it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Outside Levine. Fires the three. Holiday grabs the miss. Washington trailing. Here's Kidd. He's got seven. Oh, and Levine with a block. 
such an unreal athlete, Zach Levine, using those gifts on the defensive end of the floor. And that doesn't go either for Levine. Suns foul. Seku Dunguya. First personal foul. 15 foul. Shooting for Washington. Anthony Davis. That free throw good from Davis. On the court. Washington's gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Pass to Holiday. And he lobs it up! And he lays in the alley-oop pass. And you just love to see Davis heat up like this. He's so exciting to watch on the offensive end. Here's Dumboya. Favors covering. Now here's Booker. The three! Rebound Washington. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Holiday has the open look. Releases from the wing and drills it. Holiday's got his first points in this one. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves as an effective catch and shoot player. The deep three from Murray. From beyond the arc and then some. And the Suns lead by two. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Here's Holiday. Booker with the defensive effort. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Puts one up from 19. Again, the Suns good for two. Well, for certain guys, the mid-range is not where you want to be. But for Devin Booker, it's money. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's Holiday. And another miss by Washington. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Washington has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. The putback. Dumboya grabs a miss. And the Suns shooting just around 47% in the second quarter. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, free throw First attempt numbers foul. indicate just how foul. difficult someone is to guard. Booker certainly the in the hard to check Devin category. Booker. Taking two shots. And he can't get the first one. Well, Devin Booker's ability to put an offense on his back is huge for any organization. His willingness to absorb and embrace responsibility is so crucial. Beal, he's checked in for Washington. Good on the second one. 133 left in the second. Pass to Favors. To the paint. And Booker pulls it down. The Suns leading. Stolen by Davis. Now Beal. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for Washington. Bradley and he knocks down the first one. Well, Bradley Beal is the epitome of being a triple threat. He can drive it, pass it, shoot it. The complete package on the offensive end, that defines Bradley Beal. And Beal drops them both. We've got 108 left in the half. Murray passes to Davis. Back to Murray. Over Holiday. Murray, no good. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Spins. Here's Beal. The rebound by Devin Booker. Booker's got four rebounds in the game. Murray passes to Booker. Here's Davis. There's the triple. Bradley Beal puts it in. Suns foul. First personal foul. At the line for the Wizards, Anthony Davis. Davis, no good on that free throw. Here in the second period, he's made a concerted effort to attack and get himself to the line. Washington has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. 
Here's Williams. Oh, the teardrop falls Ooh. in. Williams has got 10. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Right side, Davis. Let's it go. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. And the Suns lead by three. Now here's Beal. Here's the lob. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Suns on top, leading by three. We'll see you after half. Welcome, everybody. Well, their rebounding effort is insulting. They got to play big. Okay, now we'll look at some of the players who could be a part of the dunk contest during All-Star. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. I have to love his tenacity. This guy stays in attack mode, makes defenders work, tries to keep them off balance. So on the floor for the Wizards, we've got Patrick Williams, Davis out there with Derek Favors. Then there's Bradley Beal, and that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Favors with a screen on Murray. Here's Kidd. No luck on that one. And Phoenix the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Ostertag. Shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense from Favors. Here's Kidd. Beal with it. Inside. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Among big men in the NBA, Davis can throw it down like nobody else. A great combination of size and hops. Count it and the foul. It's going to be on Derek Favors. In a tight game, Defensive they wanted foul. to make sure of that Derek possession. Favors. Second half rolling along. About a minute played here. High post Davis. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got six rebounds here tonight. To the inside. Out of bounds, it'll be Wizards ball. Wizards. Over the past month. Here's the best in free throw shooting. Well, you look at Williams, so consistent from the line, putting him in the three spot. And over this stretch, his foul shooting has been exceptional. You could tell he was enjoying every single trip to the line. Tipped. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. The Wizards have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Outside Davis, pass to Kidd. Over Murray. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Washington. First one falls for him. Taking two shots. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Murray. He's got nine. From deep. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his sixth rebound on the night. The shot by Kidd, no good. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. The shake. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for your sons, Willis Reed. Two shots. And he makes a first. And 
good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Kidd. He's got nine. Unloads from 13. It's hauled in by the Suns. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Oh, nice shot by Ostertag. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. That's the kid. There's the three. And another miss by Washington. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Booker for three. The rebound by the Wizards. Davis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Favors with a screen on Booker. Here's Kidd. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. He's got 11. With the utmost belief in his game, he's able to beat opponents in a number of ways. Tries it from the top of the key, and the Suns getting another bucket right there. The Wizards have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Now two for eight. Now a timeout called by Washington. Here we go, fans. Make some noise for your side. And the Suns making a change here. Levine's checked in. Conley's checked in for Washington. Murray brings the double. Conley finds favors. Beal's got room. Good on the baseline, Jay. Beal's got nine. Well, Bradley Beal gets into the mid-range. Let's remember, this is a three-level score. He will take what you give him. Here's Levine for three. And Conley grabs the miss. For Washington, they've gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Now here's Favors. He's guarded closely. Zach Levine clears it away. Phoenix has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Davis played it in with a nice touch off the window. Davis has got 19 points. You know, on defense, I think you need one of the big guys to help you out in that instance. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Davis against Davis. There's a screen by Favors. Here's Beal. Down to five on the shot clock from deep Conley. And Reed pulls it down. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And it's good. Two points. Washington trailing. Conley passes to Beal. Conley, a screen on Davis. The Wizards with another miss. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. To the right side. Back to Murray. This one for three. Unable to get that one. And Washington the other way now. Pass to Kidd from deep. And Reed pulls it down. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. There's Davis with the three. Drains the triple. He's got 22. <laughs> I just love the ball. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now a timeout called by Washington.
checked in for Washington. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Anthony Davis. Unfortunately, we've seen his ability as a rebounder take a back seat these past few seasons. And I'd like to see him refocus on that element of his game. You can never have enough rebounds, in my opinion. Beal outside. Outside Davis. Pass to Smart. To halt the run. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Levine, good. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Suns. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And their fast break has also been a key metric in this one. They have had a significant advantage in transition over the course of this game. The Suns have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Pass to Ostertag. That one's true. He's now 9 of 10. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Smart passes to Davis. Davis drawing the double team. Puts it up for 15. And the shot is good off the backboard. Davis has got 28. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Davis, the pass to Murray. Here's Levine. Pass to Reed. The rebound by the Wizards. Favors with it. He's picked up by Levine. Oh, and Levine with a block. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Reed. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus Mike. all night long. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. And Phoenix shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. Pass to Davis. And here's Murray. Up and over Conley. They grab their own miss. Here's Ostertag. And he drains another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Now here's Davis. Davis with a screen on Davis. Beal, the pass to Davis. That went a little long. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Favors with it. Checked by Murray. Here's Conley. No good there. Nice D from Levine. The Suns shooting a solid 47%. Murray from outside. Outside for Davis. Suns keep it alive. Booster tag. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Smart passes to Beal. He buries it from three. Beal's got five points now in the quarter. Well, off the screen, you can see Bradley Beal is shot ready. That is how you do it. Inside. Here's Reed. Banked it in off the glass. And the Suns lead by 14. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And so it's Phoenix, a sizable lead of 14 at the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Devin Booker out there with Murray, and it's Reed in at the four. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Here's Ostertag. Uses the glass on the layup. And he's got 28 now. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Here's Williams. Outside Holiday goes back up. Ostertag grabs the miss. And so here's Phoenix. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Fires from the wing. Beal, no good. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. After being so smart with the ball in the first half, he's gotten a bit careless. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Marshall, he's checked in for the Suns. Washington with the ball. They trail by 16. Pass to Kidd. Here's the teardrop. It's deflected. Over to the left wing. Murray for three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Still looking for his first triple of the half. He had three at the break. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Boy, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Marshall can't hit. Washington shooting right at 35%. Not getting what they want out there. 14 feet away. The Suns clear it. Booker's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Reed. And stolen by Williams. Beal outside. Davis with a screen on Fox. From 10 feet away. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Suns have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. They kick it out to Murray. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That'll be a second foul of the game. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Dumboy has checked in for Reed. Pass to Davis. Deal against Booker. It's tipped. And now the Suns fast break. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Here's Kidd. The Wizards with another miss. He's trying to find his shot. But at some point, you have to start making these. Hits a three-pointer. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Now a timeout call by Washington. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game. He has truly put on a show out there tonight. Tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Hey, these fans love him so much. And when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. They set the pick. Here's Beal. That one's wide left. It's been a challenging quarter for them, and his offensive inconsistency is a driving factor. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Here's Kidd, defended by Murray, looking to win the run. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. It's just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotated over and challenged. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Beal 
outside. Pass to Kidd. Jacks up a three. And Booker pulls it down. Booker's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Back to Murray. Booker with it. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Beal. Suns foul. And the Wizards making a change here. Favors is checked in. First team foul. Wizards substitution. Derek Favors. Beal with a screen on Murray. Down low. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Derek Favors using that long frame to send that back twice on the pipes, Kevin. Trying to end this thing with some big threes, but the accuracy just isn't there tonight. Davis, no good on that free throw. The Suns making a switch here. Davis has checked in. One shot. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Favors with a screen on Murray. Here's Kidd. It's hauled in by the Suns. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. Out of bounds. Wizards ball as Washington Wizards keeps possession. Ball. The Suns making a now switch here. Line up for your sons. And so it's Washington with it. To the middle. Here's Beal. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Well, you see how crafty Bradley Beal is. The athleticism helps in the paint. That's nicely done. Murray passes to Davis. Counted from distance. Davis has got 25 points in the game. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Here's Kidd. Pass to Davis. And Davis slams it home. Look at what he's doing here, and it's hard to imagine him playing much better. Booker with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. No coverage that time. 28 points for him. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Now a timeout called by Washington. That's a good timeout. They just can't hit anything. Sometimes it just feels like this has become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Reed's checked in for the Suns. Pass to Williams. There's a screen. Out to Beal. Takes a three. Knocks down the long J. Beal's got five points now in the quarter. Challenging this D with a three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Murray passes to Davis. Booker for three. Rebound Washington. Pass to Kidd. Williams on the wing. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Here's Booker for three. They get it back. Launches it. Gets the three to fall. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Beal, no good. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Suns. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. Here's Kidd. Pass to Beal. There's a screen by Favors. Will it go? And the play by Beal as he finishes it off for two. 
Now, this is an example of where he's grown. Bradley Beal getting it done in the screen and roll. Here's Reed. Davis from long range. Davis with a rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. 41 seconds left in the fourth. Davis with a screen on Booker. Here's Kidd. Back to Davis. Outside Davis. Three-pointer. Knocks down the triple. Davis has got 31. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. And it's blocked. Outside Booker. Let's the three fly. Launches a three. No good. So it's the Suns winning this one easily. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly.